Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you did not miss me too much. <laughs> if you're new, please do smash that subscribe and like button if you enjoy my channel. Um, so this is a Virgo channel only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And we're going to take a look at love for the rest of July for the Virgos, okay? So if I do an extended reading, I'll let you know through the reading. And uh, if there is one, I'll post a link below the video in the description box. All right, Virgo, let's get started with your reading. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross. Let's see what messages show up here for you. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you're doing well. All right, you guys. Let's take a look and see what are Virgo's messages. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for love for the rest of July. And yeah, I think we have a couple of weeks left. Just a little bit more. Can't believe how fast the season is going. It's crazy. Okay. There goes sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right. Past position, the tower. Wow, Virgo. All right. Something came crashing down in the past. Destroyed. Done. Present. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Crossing you is the King of Swords. Four of Swords driving the reading. You've got the Page of Cups crowning. Six of Wands coming towards you. Present position, Nine of Pentacles. That's you. Wonderful, Virgo. Okay. External to you is the Eight of Swords. Hopes and Fears, Three of Wands. And the outcome, you have the Knight of Cups. Okay. So, bottom of the deck, Virgo. Seven of Swords. Okay. There's some type of mischief. A running away energy. Somebody running away, not wanting to deal. Okay. Uh, the wheel of the year running fast to, <laughs> to make some kind of change. Um, some of you are running into your blessings this time. You have strength here. So you're brave. You're doing something. You're sneaking away. You're brave. Um, there's an energy of a turning point happening towards the end of the, at the end of July. <laughs> It's my Brian Laundry card. How about that? Um, and brothers, there's somebody running towards you. Someone coming towards you. Um, so the Seven of Swords, you know, this can sometimes be a card of deceit and deception, and lies. <clears throat> but I feel like there's an energy of uh, making change, changing that behavior and getting away from it as fast as possible. So if you were connected with someone who um, I feel like was a liar or a deceiver, um, there's a turning point, there's a change. Somebody's gaining strength to make a major shift or change. Now, Virgo, for some of you, this could have been you, okay? Maybe there was some, some lies that you told in the past, and some of you are seeking to be more transparent in your life with yourself, see things clearly, and <clears throat> not gaslight yourself anymore, not lie to yourself, trusting yourself, making some change. This strength card... This is courage, okay? So this, the energy, like it's an energy. So how you, how this resonates for you, um, whether it's you or another person, um, the Knight of Pentacles is here. And the Chariot, yeah. Quick change. The Black Horse and the White Horse. <clears throat> There's a decision to go forward. Okay. Some of you might just be like, it could be just as simple as you're thinking about purchasing, um, you know, a vehicle or car or something like that and not gaslighting yourself about that. You know, you're looking for something um, powerful. 
Uh, I'm just hearing like a sports car. I don't know. Okay, that's just a very small message for somebody. But I feel like... I do feel, Virgo, that somebody is kind of showing up here in July who um, is on a path to you and making a change in their life. But they're coming in... Well, they're coming in directly, uh, but they're not rushing, okay? Um, and the chariot... This kind of feels like uh, this person knows what they want and they know the direction and which way they want to go, okay? And, and that's towards you. And, and really making big change with that wheel of the year, okay? This is a shift um, and it's in your favor. All right, so let's take a look. The tower energy in the past, something broke down. There was a, a destruction of ego, an upheaval, change, some type of ruin. Um, that's Scorpio or uh, it could be Aries energy. Okay, let me get a clarifying card for this because the tower is Major Arcana. What more can you tell Virgo, Spirit? What more can you tell Virgo about this tower? I, it just seems like something ended. It was done. It, it came to an end, you know, and it wasn't like a decision that I feel. <clears throat> it wasn't a decision that I feel. It, it feels more like spirit just came down and took a hold because sometimes when if you're unable to move. Spirit will move you. Okay at some point. So the Page of Swords is here. Some of, some of you might have called interference. Called inter So here, look, here's the Wheel of the Year again. Some of you might have called, uh, you were seeking or trying to get some information about something in the past. And some of you might have called on spirit to just lift you out of a particular situation. Even if you're, you were out of a situation, more like mentally. Okay, because that lightning bolt comes down and strikes the crown chakra. So it feels to me like um, there might have been maybe an argument or something that might have happened. And that situation seems to have changed everything for you, like major shift. Okay, and you're standing here now with the Ace of Pentacles. So this is like an opportunity blessings, opportunities just come, falling into your lap now since shifting out of something from the past okay now there could be and it's so funny to me how the king of swords keeps showing up in your reading so there could be a connection with uh, an air sign libra gemini aquarius male or female energy <clears throat> um and even if it's not this person comes in very wise uh, very uh, you know someone who is strategic <clears throat> mental <laughs> not in a negative way um almost this is like someone who's a thinker um but they're very sharp on their feet uh witty type of a character someone who is heady they're saying to me someone who's heady okay um why is this in and i feel like this is somebody who's coming in or who's going to be present uh, who's coming in as an opportunity for you okay let me see why this person is in the position of benefit and challenge <clears throat> okay ten of swords okay virgo i feel like for you whoever this person is, whatever their sign is, it doesn't matter. Um, this is just a description of how they, how they are. Um, I feel like Virgo, you're standing in this position of, okay, I see this opportunity coming towards me. It could already be happening to you. But is this person coming in? I feel like you're, it's a challenge because you wonder if this person is going to betray you or <clears throat> um back stab you in the back okay and i feel like 
there might be a little bit of hesitancy for you. I mean, I, I do feel like you're being given a gift of, of, of to explore something. This kind of feels like a new type of situation. I don't know if this is someone who's going to come in as a friend or will come in as or as somebody that you're already connecting with, friend, lover, which whatever it might be. But I, I feel like this is an opportunity. Oh, gosh, the Ace of Cups. This is something, it feels like it's a very beautiful uh, thing coming in this is love coming in or this is that that you're already experiencing with someone um and i feel like this person i also have to say is coming in they're surrendering okay something going on with them that they are uh there's a surrender energy between you and this person you might have a little bit of hesitancy for yourself okay here you go five of wands where ooh, you know is this going to be more drama is somebody going to come into my life am i or is it going to be toxic or are we going to have some drama you know i don't really feel that way virgo I'm not i'm not <clears throat> even if you're currently connecting with this person i don't feel that there's going to be drama i feel like somebody is surrendering to uh competition or or you know any kind of they're they're done this person is showing up here like done with drama done with problems uh things like that so it feels like a blessing it really does but you know are you hesitant what's going on no i i feel like in some ways yeah perhaps maybe you've been burned in the past but in other ways you know the nine of cups is here this is like a wish coming true for you this is something you've been you want or this somebody somebody that you have been you know maybe praying about or praying for having some like that cornucopia <laughs> of a new opportunity to come in like a blessing you might already be you might be in a relationship with this person currently for some of you and have been together for a while um, this past energy could have been from a, quite some time ago and for others is somebody new or maybe you're just dating let me see what's driving the reading for you is the four of swords so you're in healing mode that's for sure okay your focus right now is renewal rest relaxation that's what's driving you in your life this time you know the four of swords comes after the three so there might have been some type of a third party or a heartbreak or some type of situation in the past you're like when i look at her face it's like Wow, you know what? I just realized something. Okay. No, it's definitely it's definitely four swords, but you see those three swords up against that wall there? That tells me that the three of swords you you've you've put it you've put it away, that heartbreak. Okay, you've you've just you've taken the swords out of the heart and you've laid them there up against the wall. Um, and you're aware, uh, so, but you've taken them out of the heart and you've owned them. So it's like nobody else has access to those three swords to hurt you. Okay. You are with the one sword as the ace of swords. You, you've got clarity now. <clears throat> and this is what's driving you. Clair peace of mind. Clarity of mind is what I feel. You know, um, whoever... If somebody in the past drove swords into your heart, you took them out of your own heart and kept them as souvenirs so that you don't ever forget, but so that you can heal, okay? Because I feel like for some of you, if you, I feel like somebody might have thought, well, if I forget all about this, then I'm likely to get burned again. No, you're owning those swords. They're mine. You drive them, drive, dr you've driven those swords into my heart in the past and I'm taking them out and I'm putting them in a case and I'm leaving them there so I never forget. Um, and I keep it green so that I can keep getting my healing. And as I'm saying that, there's the three of swords. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I just, they just gave me an image of, um, oh, a hummingbird so strange maybe somebody just saw a hummingbird but yeah there's the three of swords there okay yep look nine of wands boundaries this is kind of like a boundary for you and that's why that wall's there 
you know you you have some very strong boundaries at this time and i feel like you you do want new love and you're and you're trying to be open but you're a little bit maybe a little bit scarred okay and that's fine what's crowning you is the page of cups so yeah your thought process is you definitely want new love Okay. Some of you might want an apology, but it's up in your head and you're not banking on it or waiting for it because you're getting yourself, uh, reorienting yourself to love and life and opportunities to come your way. Um, and some of you are thinking about a child as well, perhaps at this time, whether it's a little child or a grown child, if you have a child, thinking about them. Um, or maybe thinking of your grown child when they were little, or uh, and thinking about innocence and love. And some of you maybe is a grandchild as well that's on your head, it's on your mind, <laughs> on your head. I hope your grandchild's not on your head. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like some of you are also forgiving yourselves and apologizing to yourselves for thinking you were less than deserving at some point. Now what's coming towards you is six of wands. So this is beautiful. This is, wow, <laughs> success. You have some type of success coming towards you or a very successful energy of someone who is very successful. All right, let me take a look here and see. Show me a little bit more about this six of wands. This, this is win uh, like a winner energy coming t forward towards, nah, I would just say maybe like the third somewhere in the third week of july let's see here okay wow got the world massive change a massive shift happening here a new beginning the oldest at the out with the old in with the new here okay um winner mindset is what I feel like you're you're getting yourself into but not in an egotistical way because the six of wands if it were reversed that would be very egotistical like I am the best and it, it, and no one can conquer me <laughs> I mean and then you know that's oh that's pride you know pride goes before a fall no this is like success an achievement and recognition maybe even from some for some of you worldly recognition okay however that might mean for you or um, some of you completed a, a novel or a book or you will be you know and um, or some type of blog or writing of some sort you know and I see success with that coming towards you acknowledgement coming towards you um, there might be an opportunity to travel the world or go somewhere or do some traveling at the end of July as well let me just get another clarifying card here for you oh wow okay it's a successful out of this world connection that will be made towards the end of July around the third week this is new love. This is friends turning into lovers. Beautiful energy. This could be marriage. This is coupling. This is seeing uh, meeting or connecting with someone, confirming a relationship, maybe becoming exclusive for some of you if you're already involved. Um, this is a meeting of the minds. This is mutuality. Uh, two people being on the same page. This is soulmate energy. <clears throat> There's a soulmate happening here so when i see the ace of pentacles and the ace of uh the ace of love i almost said the ace of cups that feels to me like it's a potential for this beautiful shift and change a new chapter in your life to come forward okay and this is wonderful uh, and this feels like it's it feels like a newness because it's a two but it's about partnership and it's also about two people making a decision to come together maybe even um, maybe you meet somebody if you're traveling the world or going somewhere okay um, or maybe that's the two of you will be doing that together towards the end of July and finding common ground um, this feels like you know there's no opposition here there's like toasting two people toasting to a new beginning to to finding each other to recognition soul to soul 
And you, Virgo, in your advice, stay in this position of the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful, handsome, stable. Maybe you have some wealth, um, gains, solo pleasures, the things that you, uh, taking care of self, this is self-love. Um, your advice is to keep believing that you are worth what comes towards you or what you're experiencing with someone right now, okay? Um, that you are worth that. You, you're standing here in a position of high value, but not in the sense of like f money, maybe for some of you, but this is more along the lines of worthiness and, and self-love and knowing who you are, right? But not in an egotistical way, just saying, you know, I'm worth this. So your advice is to stay. Okay. And then you also have the four of wands here. Okay. Um, so there's worthy of marriage, worthy of commitment, worthy of a beautiful relationship with someone who is a soulmate or equal partnership. Okay. Um, and if you haven't met this person yet, um, still stay in that energy because that it, you, we attract with what we are Virgo. So if you are standing in a position where you know your worth, your self, self worth and your value, okay, which is can't put a dollar figure or a, 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 a number on that. Okay. Because you're, you're so valuable that you just can't put a price on you. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm sure I'm blowing your ego up a little bit here, but I hope that you don't take it that way. It just feels more to me like stability, structure, creating a foundation. If you started that already, keep building. Okay, this is like the framework of a home. Some of you might just be beginning to frame out your path in your life, what you want and direction you're going. Now, let's see what is external to you. Okay. Hmm. Well, what's external to you is an energy of victimhood. Okay. Um, this is not attached to you. This is a self-imposed prisoner or prisoners. Okay. People that could be surrounding you in your life or a particular person. We'll dive a little bit deeper where there's this desire to play the victim there's a there's a, a victim stance uh, maybe there's people around you or something that you you're standing uh, you're observing in a particular person or people self-imposed prisoners this eight of swords this is someone who even though their eyes, they can't see, their hands are tied behind their back, their body is constricted. This is constriction. The feet are free. The feet can walk out and just slide between those swords. Okay? Someone or someone in your past or someone feels victimized. Maybe they feel victimized by you or they're playing the, the, the card of this is what Virgo did to me and you know um, it's working for them in their life in some way but it doesn't usually last for long unless there's another person uh, who is like an empath or something and and falls <laughs> to that um could it be this person yeah it could be but we'd have to wait and see how that's going to play out uh, I'm going to see if we can find out who this person is that's playing this victim card it could be a friend it could be a lover it could be a, a group of people it could be a mindset okay so queen of swords interesting okay well it's matching up with the king of swords so male or female energy air energy okay um let me take a look here all right so the Knight of Wands and the Sun. Okay. So somebody is saying, um, I'm positively sure that Virgo came in and used me physically for um, sexual relations. And they might be telling people that. Okay. 
um, or their or that that's that vitriol is coming out of their mouth um, that they're a victim of you. Okay, and if it isn't sexual relations, it's just that there was someone who is claiming that you uh, victimize them. <laughs> you know, um, and then they're giving me the secondary message where this person is getting truthful with themselves at the same time that actually they were the one or someone's telling them that they play the victim all the time and they go in and out of people's lives um, for the express purpose of lust, okay? And somebody, ooh, somebody's getting exposed. Someone that's external to you is being exposed for very bad behavior. Is it this person? Hmm. For some of you, it could be. This is someone who feels like you betrayed them. Did you betray someone? Well, if you went to save yourself, Virgo, from something that was unhealthy for you or some type of a relationship that was toxic in the past and you ended something, you know, it could look to other people or this particular person that you were being selfish and that you just left them. And, and if they're playing the victim card, you know, everybody has the right to save themselves. It's something that we should do. It doesn't make us selfish in a negative way. It means we love ourselves enough to not continue on in unhealthy relationships. Okay, so this person um, may be looking at you as if you victimized them. And Virgo's like, that's not my problem. You know, and I don't feel like it's in a negative way. I just feel like for some of you, this King of Swords, it's showing up here, the challenge with this person. If this is the person that's external to you, um, yeah, the Ten of Swords, they feel, they this person feels like you betrayed them or you caused a lot of drama. Um, whoa, who is this person you were dealing with? Because I have to tell you, you know, there's very strategic energy with both of that sword energy. And this person is completely single. Is it this new person? You know, Virgo, if I said it was, I'm rethinking that. Because I feel like who you're going to be connecting with and who you're going to be meeting or who you might be connecting with in a healthy relationship at this time, um, that's not this person. This, this king, queen of swords, this air energy, this heady uh, strategic person. I feel like you've got someone here who's who might be either in your periphery or in your thoughts or in your life who's very negative and is full of betrayal and deception and lies. And, you know, that seven of swords showing up in the beginning of the reading, I feel like you might have been gaslit by somebody and that caused you to also gaslight yourself. And I feel like some of you are really coming out of a, a, a very destructive destructive relationship. You might have had somebody in the past who was <clears throat> um, stalking or spying or gossip. Um, and this doesn't have to be, like I said, a lover. This could be a friend or a family member. So your hopes right now, you have the three of wands. You're hoping, you're waiting for your ships to come in. That's You're hoping that they will because I feel like, Virgo, you're not rushing out to try to make things happen with people you're planting seeds and you're you're just patiently waiting for the growth and i feel like you're hopeful that <clears throat> those flowers are going to grow those seeds are going to sprout buds and you're in a good place okay there is a little bit of fear that maybe that's not going to happen um but i feel like virgo if you keep nour nourishing those seeds in your life in love career health whatever um you will see results from that um, taking good care of self and taking good care of the things that you are doing in your life. If other people want to play the victim card or mouth off or say negative things about you, <clears throat> that's none of your business, really. You know, unless it gets to the point where it's going to cause damage in your life, then, you know, you got to take, maybe do some uh, legal proceedings as well. 
with that but if it's not and it's just gossip and it's just bull and you it's nobody that you really even need to talk to or hear about that really is just you know other people if somebody here that's external to you is bad mouthing you or saying very negative things about you or playing the victim and not wanting to you know get real with themselves virgo i mean it's really not your problem it's their problem and other people will see you know anybody who comes in or uh, or just is bad mouthing someone consistently or to the point where it's just like people look at that and they say wait a minute now hang on um why are you why are you so fixated on this person um for the things that they've done you know why are you bad mouthing somebody so much to the point like you know if you're not doing it, Virgo, and you're standing in a position, I hope you like my little candle here. If you're standing in a position where you're just trying to let go and get into a more healthy position in your life, and if you're going to badmouth anyone or vent or get your stress out, um, if you're doing it with a particular person that is a confidant and you're not going around, uh, you know, pulling an Amber Heard op ed bull, then I think that that's healthy okay um but whoever this person is they might be connecting with somebody new uh, that's external and saying negative oh. things about you to garner approval or to play the victim it's it's a it's a very unhealthy very it's very toxic okay even and and is it a yes that that's happening yes they might be just trying to do that to get into somebody else's pants or you know the, the very thing that people there's an old saying you know um whenever we're pointing the finger at someone we have three fingers pointing back at us so whatever people are accusing you of in your life ergo it's quite tr quite fr quite frankly it, it could very well be that they're actually those are tells about themselves okay and whatever people are saying to other people they're just talking about themselves most of the time like if it's an ac accusatory because most people who um know they've done wrong if they have the ability to self-reflect they'll they'll stop and say okay hang on a minute let me take a look now is this true what this person's saying about me because i need to double check this because no one's ever told me this before or i don't know that I, this might just be um vitriol someone's spewing stuff because of their own inability to self-reflect for their own behavior you know um people who are healthy will uh, say okay give me reason give me examples of what you mean and then they'll um contrast things and they'll try to see and, and reflect to see if these things are true or not you know um they won't you know, if someone's accusing you of something or telling other people, and especially if they're not giving you an opportunity to defend yourself, but they're just gossiping, that is toxic as F. Okay, toxic. So I don't know who this person is. Uh, maybe it's a Leo. <laughs> it could be a Sagittarius. Um, pretty much all the signs are just basically on the board here. So we're not going to go too deep. But you do have, I will say, the outcome is beautiful. I'm not going to do an extended reading on this because I feel like whoever this person is, um, they might be getting told off um, for their bullshit. For this, they somebody might have told them stop playing the victim. I could see right through it. Okay, yeah, your deception and your lies. Somebody's getting called out for their deception and the lies. If they're talking some shit on you or saying things or playing the victim, somebody's like, uh, uh, no. That's not true. Piscean energy there. So, you, all right, let's take a look. Virgo here. You're getting married. There's love. You're going to make a proposal or that's coming in for you. Going in through August. Okay. Um, someone expressing how they feel. Love, admiration for you. Romantic proposal of some sort. Doesn't have to be marriage. Could be. Um, it could be just... It's just romance all across the board. It's it's love. It's 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 rose-colored glasses. It's puppy love. It's good feeling. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> there's the seven of swords again. Okay, this person wants to like run away. This is someone who's going to steal your heart. Okay, and listen. 
understand as a tarot reader that just because a card means something in particular by itself, when it's combined with the other cards, and I'm giving a little tarot lesson if you're ever going to do tarot, um, combined also with intuition, it doesn't necessarily, like some of you might look at this if you know tarot and say, oh, this pe person's coming in deceptively giving love. I'm not picking up that energy with these two cards together. And in the context of this two of cups, this feels to me like somebody's coming in that it's like a runaway love. Do you know? Oh, it's, it's, it just gave me that very old, and I'm dating myself here, this old Bon Jovi song, She's a Little Runaway. <laughs> This is like a run. This is a runaway love. Somebody wanting to run away with you, steal your heart, uh, and it's good. It's a positive energy. Okay, right. This person. I, I don't know who. Maybe it's someone that you're currently connecting with, um, or someone that you meet up with in July. This person's. You've been on their mind. You have been on this person's mind. Okay, and at the end of the month, this person. I feel like. If, oh yeah, like they, intu this person intuitively has this sense, and I feel like you both, um, when you connect with this person, or as you're connecting and time goes on with this relationship, you're both going to recognize that intuitively know that you know there's something here and to what degree i'm not sure maybe you're still exploring the 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 unsolved mystery of a relationship but there's there's an intuitive knowing okay and also kind of feel like this person has been secretly um holding um affection for you um and you have been on their mind. I feel like this person has been sitting in this position of like, should I really make this offer? Um, should I make this offer? Um, or should I just run away from Virgo? Because I feel like this person really sees you in this energy. Okay. Um, high value, wonderful, attractive, intriguing, charming, um, very sexy, very stable. A good catch, Virgo. Somebody sees you as a good catch here. Okay, yeah, here's Ace of Wands. So there's a potential for a brand new start with someone, or if you're already, if that's already occurred for you, um, for growth. Okay, that's the Ace of Wands. There's growth happening here in some type of connection. Um, and it's the potential for beautiful growth, passionate, creative, um, new beginnings with someone. Okay, and physical, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, all right, Virgo, so I'm not going to go any deeper into that. I just want to leave that very simple reading here for you. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that brought you some light and positivity and some clarity as well. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, take